we are here to do a final hurrah to celebration. So I have three celebration products that we're using. Now, what is celebration? Celebration is a sale. That's Stampin' Up! Do. And one of the ways you can play along, and we've only got three days left um, to enjoy this, is by earning free products. So for every $90 that you uh, spend, hello, Bobby. So for every $90 that you spend in Australia with me, you get to earn free products so they are three of the products that i am using today and the other ways you can play you can join to be a discount shopper and part of my team good morning kay good morning deborah oh you're you're getting a nice jump start on it deb i'm very impressed um is join my team and for 169 dollars you can choose whichever 235 or up to 235 dollar product you would like from any of our current catalogs and even our clearance rack and you receive 200 sheets of paper that aren't even available until may in our new annual catalog and you can host a party or gather together some orders uh, for some friends and you can earn an exclusive um, hostess set and some extra money to play with. Hello, Marjean. Hello, Lorraine. Hello, Kay MacArthur. Hello, Sarah, Donna and Tracy. Oh, I get to see you twice in two days, Tracy. And same with you, Lorraine. I have a team meeting on the weekend and Lorraine and Kay are in my team, which is fantastic. So it looks to me that I am live everywhere. Hello, Sandra from Puerto Rico. What time is it in Puerto Rico at the moment? Not familiar with time zones in that part of the world. Miss Cindy, hello, lovely. I've been out running errands this morning. Um, so, and I'm just refreshing my computer here. Been running errands dog food because she has no food or had no food. Yeah, I can't wait to work out what we're making either, Tracy, because we have no projects to make at the moment. So um, that's on this afternoon and this evening's agenda. So I'm getting there. My, I'm getting there slowly but surely. My swaps are made for the team meeting, um, but not out. And I've got a very wonky curl here. I don't know what it's trying to do. Mm, it's being very rude. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So not too late. Not too late. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Bev. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Pamela. Did Essie? Oh, yay! Awesome. That's good. I'm glad that's en route. I received customer orders yesterday and they are all packed and ready to go from last weekend's class. So, yay. I'm on the ball. That was a late last night thing, but I wanted to get it done and cleared out and off my list. So it arrived yesterday, all packed, ready to go. Sometimes I sit on orders for a bit too long. But let's show you the card we're playing with and talk to you about what we're using. So we are using the Oso Ombre paper. We are using the corner, try that again. Um, the corner bouquet stamp set, which you can earn for free, as well as the paper. We are using the Heal Your Heart Sentiments. And I've also grabbed in the Butterfly from Butterfly Wishes, because I'm kind of in love with these two butterflies. But I'm very happy to have the new butterflies that we as demonstrators can order at the moment and that are coming next month this wonky curl is going to annoy me but anyway i'm not going to see my face in a sec so that's fine it thank you and we're going to make it together i'm going to make a kind of cut these pieces wrong we're going to make a blackberry bliss version and a rococo rose version and i might even try 
um, using the spotty Oso ombre paper as well because I have completely run out. This is my last kind of pieces of the um, Oso, like the plain ombre. So, yes, let's get flipped around. I've just got to move my computer so I can read all your comments. Um, and I better move my protective, it's my um, self healing mat. I always have it over our um, work surface so I don't make it any dirtier than what I do during our live videos. And then I can spill stuff and whatever. I can make, oh, good, Tracy, grab out your supplies. I love when you girls and guys play along with me. So if you have Heal Your Heart, Corner Bouquet, Oso Ombre Paper, and I used Basic Grey Ink, which I haven't grabbed out yet. So if you grab those supplies, I'm still moving things here. Oh, I just got black ink because I didn't clean a stamp last night. Hey, Pablo, thanks for joining. Nice to see you again. Just cleaning ink off my hand and I haven't even started crafting yet. So help us, please. Hello, Miss Sandy. Thank you for joining. You saw the butterfly paper name. Yes, Bev. Yeah. Okay, Bev. Talk to me about the butterfly paper name because I haven't verbally spoken to my girlfriend who um, did a linguistics degree and actually is a language teacher. I haven't spoken to her yet. Oh, no problems. Our, I've done my groceries well. I've done the second half of my groceries this morning, so I'm now fine for the weekend. We'll see how much the children eat. But let's flip a second and let's get going because, as usual, I have wrapped it on for eight minutes and we haven't even started crafting. But I know you girls are here regardless. So let's, in the stand, lining us up. Sorry for the belly shot. I'm actually leaning on my desk. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Let me see if I, sorry, I've just, oh, that's odd. But anyway, okay, so stamp sets. Paper, card. I will be back in two shapes. I was good today and only turned off the required light, not both. Hooray for me, hey? Okay, so I just want to see if I can do something and still see comments. Can someone throw up a comment for me? Doesn't matter what it is. I want to see. Oh, no, actually, I don't like that. That's okay. I tried something and it didn't work. Cancel that thought. Now, the other thing I threw in that I forgot to tell you about, I did also throw in the painter textures or the painter texture embossing folder in the background here. So I'll just show you. Now, this piece for the people playing along at home in metric measurements. So I have a full card base size and I have this is this is 13.85 no 12 sorry 12 by eight and a half by eight and a half so that's what I have cut those at and because I'm about to cut some pieces this will be helpful to me Tess thank you thank you thank you I tried to expand my screen Pablo but I um couldn't see my whole workspace so I cancelled 
that thought I didn't like how it looked. Okay, so let's not put the paper there. Let's grab out our stamp. So I am using both our corner stamps, but as you saw from the cards, I'm not using them as a corner. I'm using them more as a meadow look where you're looking into the flowers. So I'm going to mount them as I'm going to use them. So I'm going to use like this section along the bottom of the card and or the bottom of that panel. And that like that. And the thank you. Oops, as all my stamps come flying out. Now I'm going to get ink on my hand. And guess what? My lawn people just arrived. My cleaner just left. And my, oh, my lawn people just arrived. Biju. U.S. Biju. Okay, Bev. Hey, Shelley. Thanks for joining. Hey, Marjean. I'm glad you like the card. I can't get this off. New stamps. I am so sorry. There's two of them here doing it. So I'm assuming they're going to be really quick. Now, for the times, you can't get your clean stamps off your blocks. I've just grabbed my Take Your Pick tool and just gone in between the sticker and the block. But it still has lots of ink on it. No. It's sticking to everything. It's good to know our queen stance is sticking. Okay, I am going to test what it is in Australian English. Are you, you yeah, but I never use the pokey end, I use the mini spatula end. But I normally can grab a corner without using it. So that's quite unusual, Miss Cindy. And I think, did I? Did I? No, I didn't. I thought I knocked my camera. Okay. So we've got that. We've got those. They're closed. They can go over there for a second. And then I want our one beautiful butterfly. I have a feeling this stamp set's going to go bye guys. That's one of my predictions that it will retire and I'll miss it because I like the sentiments in this and I like the butterflies. But I also love the butterflies coming in. So <laughs> Ellen wasn't concentrating when she was cutting up pieces of paper for class last weekend which wasn't necessarily a really good thing because I actually wanted the gradients to go bottom to top but here I've done them side to side so when I layer the card I'm actually going to layer it like that which actually looks really cool so you see the difference there and one of the girls in class did turn it over and use the granny apple green site so you get four colours with these papers. And if you go to my blog, you can find my link. Or after the video, I will put the links up. And then we have Rococo Rose and Bermuda Bay. And I have already cut these pieces of paper on. So I am ready to go for these two cards. And I thought I'll show you the other pattern. And as you can see, I have one lone piece of 6 by 6 paper left. But tell me, I think I'm going to cut some of our spotty ombre paper and see how that looks. We're just going to see how it looks. And I'm going to make two cards. So I need 
four pieces of paper. I'm so sorry about my lawn people. Hey, I can't say you I I can't say I don't give you a real life experience here at my house. Hello, Miss Kathy. Thank you. No, you haven't caught me in a while. Okay, so I can cut two pieces at the same time because this is paper. So we're going to work smart, not hard, and make four cuts. And I'm not getting sick of Blackberry Bliss, but I've already made this card a number of times using Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to cut this at full card front size. And because celebration ends on Sunday, I am not being frugal with scraps that size. They are going straight in. Oh, I've cut this wrong. This is going to be a sideways one too. Did I? Did I? No, I did. Hang on. Did I? No. I didn't cut it right. Hang on. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I can't remember. And then this is going to be at 10. No, I didn't cut it right. That's six. No, that's okay. We're going to do a couple of sideways ones. We will make it work. And the ombre is just there as an optical illusion. So it's okay. Hello, Rosemary. <laughs> Get chopping, get chopping, Miss Cindy. Okay, so now I need to cut this one the wrong way too. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what we said was eight and a half. And I don't even know if these two pieces of paper together are the right way or not. We're winning it today, girls. It's Friday. This does not bode well for me designing cards later, I tell you. Or maybe sometimes the first card you do is a bit of a disaster and then you just get it out of your system and keep going. This might be the case today. Hello, Samantha. How are you? Long time no see for you as well. So you can tell I've been doing um, a bit of sponging here. I may even flip this inside out so not to distract you. And I'm going to take all my smaller pieces because I don't need my card front pieces and stamp. And then... We will decide. I think I will emboss our plain ombre and I will leave our dotted ombre plain. So emboss and plain with our full cards. I wasn't to that because I got stamp sets as well. But I do own everything. Okay, so I need my basic grey ink, which is, if I wanted my basic grey ink, it would be in the packet that the cards are in. Awesome. Good to know, good to know. Oh, thank you for that, Rose. Very kind. So from my sample, I have kind of done a core like this piece in the corner but not as a corner and then I've done my other corner piece not as a corner it's all very confusing I tell you so as always stamp off here first it just is showing me I need to do a bit more inking up Oh, not done yet. Told you they'd be quick. Yes, I do have a large-ish backyard, but with two of them, they don't take 
so long. So because we're stamping on pattern paper, I am going to leave it here for just a titch for the ink to transfer. Now, this ink will look different on each colour. So when I stamped it on the Blackberry Bliss, the grey, the basic grey ink actually has a purple tinge on it, which is really cool. I'll show you the difference. So the grey ink looks really, really different on the Rococo Rose to what it does on the Blackberry Bliss. Oh, my God, I can hear myself think now. Okay, here's our experiment. But we're going to go with it, and they're going to be cards to go in my thank you card stash because it is frightfully low at the moment. And I think I sent two thank you cards in the mail today oh that doesn't look bad i like that okay thank you so much for your patience while my lawn mowing people were here i don't know if it was my friend donna here or not but yeah okay oh no 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 i didn't ink it up enough I'm not going to be able to fix that. Okay, give me your ideas for how to fix that. Yes, you can stamp on your DSP, Cindy. Stamping on your DSP is fun, especially these more basic patterns. And because these stamps are silhouettes, it just makes it look even more beautiful okay and then i come in with our next corner as i drop it uh yes i went to the hairdresser yesterday jamie and it's not my normal style she always gets more volume out of my hair and i don't know it doesn't I get different clumps, the more curl clumps to what she does. But yes, I got my hair trimmed and coloured yesterday. I was up your way, actually, Miss Jamie. I was in your neck of the woods. Well, where you work anyway. But I didn't have time for anything else. Samantha, that isn't a half bad, although it's fairly wide. Hmm, we'll go back. Do you know what? I could just leave it and it just could be, yeah, I don't know. I reckon I just leave it and the person I give it to probably won't even notice. It's just, you know, when you're a card maker and it's kind of your job, you notice these things. Okay, so that's all our flower and foliage stamping done. I am just going to have a good margin. Ribbon, yes. All very good ideas. Mask the top with it. Yeah, but because it's a red rubber stamp, it's a bit hard to line up. Oh, no. No, Jamie, not with this one. Too late. Moments gone for using the Stamparatus. But yes, that's about your channeling our inner or your inner Kelly. Sorry, just needed a swig of water. So next I'm going to use the thank you. It's from the Heal Your Heart set. So this is predominantly a it's, it leans towards a sympathy set, but it can be used for other occasions as well. Um, and I just love the scripty font of the thank you. And the joy of using a scripty font is if you don't stamp it straight, it doesn't matter because it's a handwriting stamp. And I don't, oh, yes, that is actually a good idea, Kay. I'll see 
what other I do have a teeny butterfly in that set that a wing might fit perfectly there actually um it doesn't no one hand writes straight unless you're someone who anally has to do it yes yes Kathy hey Glenda yes happy accidents indeed so I like using script fonts because I don't have to stamp them straight is basically that story so where our flowers are a little lower is where I'm going to pop this and we are just stamping in all the same ink today oh that stamps so beautifully and while I'm here because I can I'm also going to add our butterfly don't know where I was going to say don't know where my original card is yeah I think I like the butterfly a bit more connected to the flowers there actually and I've stamped these ones a bit higher but it doesn't matter we'll just go with it okay I need to put the butterfly down and do this okay Ah, uh, I meant, <laughs> I meant the, right, I'm just leaving that one alone because you all knew meant what I meant. Some people just have to, <laughs> I can't go on, I can't go on. Cindy, hello, Marshall. it would that is well this is gray so we'll probably have i'd prefer to use uh gray to uh black but yes and we also don't need to get our butterflies on any angle because they flutter in every angle in the air anyway flowers not owners hold on you could stamp over that missing looks like yes actually that's what I might do Marjean I might just get the top of the flowers and pop them in there I like the butterfly um suggestion as well see you girls are all over fixing things all over it I love it I love it I love it I love it okay thank you here I just wonder is it too delicate no, it still stands out because we're using that darker colour. So that works. And the last one we're doing is our fixer upper. That is such an Australian thing to say. <laughs> Cindy, do you want us to talk to Eric for you? That's all I'm going to say. Yes, I'm purposely being very quiet at the moment, waiting for a reply. Okay, so let's stamp ink up just these flowers on the edge. And there we go. It's as if you're channeling my computer, Cindy. That kind of sort of worked in the bottom. Look, it's better than what was there before. So we fix that. That is all our stamping done. So very, very simple but effective shadow stamping. And I've done four card fronts. And then two of these I'm going to grab out my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And I'm also going to grab a baby wipe. Otherwise, there's going to be ink everywhere and I bought the wrong baby he's still with me after Thena he knows what you're like that is so true <laughs> yes change shopping change shopping yes and you got some beautiful gifts and you're going away for the weekend which is lovely Miss Janie very spoiled 
Okay, what I think I want to do now, because I can see all this ending in disaster very soon, is to grab out my stamp and scrub and clean all these stamps. So I know I don't use the stamp and scrub very often, and I use my chamois. There is a reason I'm not using my chamois today. I didn't wet it or ask David to wet it before we came on, and it's decidedly... Um, not right to use in any of the words i want to use right now you girls are going to jump on so i'm not going to say any of those words otherwise we'll all be needing our poise and depends hello alicia thank you so much i'm glad you love my card I think you're an expert now, Glenda. Okay, so we're not talking about chamois today because these are all red rubber stamps. It's a wonderful opportunity for me to grab out our stamp and scrub and our stamp and mist. So our stamp and mist comes in this big bottle, which is great. I use way too much, but I love it. Thank you, Sam, for the laughs. Thank you, Sam. You know what words I was going to use. We come here for the laughs, uh, but someone does have to watch their P's and Q's when I'm on live. That would be me. You girls, well, someone in here goads me all the time. Her name will be Jamie. So we have a wet side and it has little droplets in the corner and the dry side has a little sun in the corner. So a wet and dry side. So let me put the mist away. So the mist cleans and conditions our red rubber stamps because once upon a time before we didn't know better, we used to wash our stamps in the sink and just prop them up against our window sills, which actually dried out and cracked the red rubber. Now we have the solution and the apparatus, the stamp and scrub. So we've scrubbed it dry. It was scrubbed it and cleaned it. And then we scrub it dry. So they are dry, ready to go back in their containers, which I won't do. I'm just going to leave them out until the end. But you can see actually how quick and easy this is to do. So if I wanted to change colours now, they're ready to go. You looked so young. You look so young in those photos, Jamie. Oh, my God. And that choker, that is one piece of jewellery. That was like, wow. Okay, no longer need this either. So that can go off to the side. Oh, my. Oh, while I was here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. While I've got my stamp and scrub all wet and ready to clean things. I am going to also clean my other celebration stamp, Newsflash. Birthdays are found to be good for health. Study shows that people who have birthdays live the longest. How awesome is that? I don't know where Stampin' Up! got that from, but it's amazing. Yes, I was doing some birthday cards last night, just some last minute ones. Hey, James, thanks for joining. Hello, Mr. Linda. So um, I was using that. That also comes from a celebration set called Approaching Perfection. I haven't used it on these cards because I'm making thank you cards. But gee, I love all the sentiments in this set. If things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. I may have put that on some people's cards quite recently. Oh, what was for dinner? I, I, I haven't even made lunch yet, but I know a couple of people in here will know exactly what I'm eating for lunch. 
was that that was little M? Was that our little M, Jamie? Or was that your niece? Okay, so now we are going to take these two pieces. Where did I put the embossing folder? Who stole the embossing folder? Please, please, please put your hand up now and admit that you stole it or borrowed it, but please bring it back because I really lost it. I like it. It was under the Oso ombre paper. Thank you for returning it. Oh, my bin just fell over. Ooh, butternut squash soup with steamed cod and veggies. Yum. Oh, no. Oh, okay, Cindy, thank you for returning it. Okay, stamp and cut the emboss machine. This is what we're going to use to emboss our paper with. And as per, just give me one second here and please excuse my squeaky chair just then. That was not anything my body did. That was my jeans on my chair. Mashed potatoes with gravy cube chai. Oh, geez, I mistake. That's a whole nother story in my life, but I really mistake. My body does not deal with steak well. So as per our platform, we are using a 3D embossing folder. So we need plate one, the folder and paper, and then plate number four on top. So plate one our painted textures embossing folder oh pork chops i can have rose i just can't do unminced chicken and unminced beef i can do a little bit of pork my tummy still hurts when i have it but i'm better with pork nice succulent pork than anything else Okay, so we're going to cover our embossed image. Now I'm going to put it in, um, it's not the fold, it's not the seam, but we're not going to put it in open end first because if we do that, we can risk, risk cracking our embossing folder and the two sides not loving each other anymore. Lost sound on Hapson on YouTube. Huh. How, how is everyone else going hearing me? I haven't touched anything. I'll stand up and do this. Mary, anyone, do I have sound on YouTube? Because I'm looking at my signal and it says my signal is great. Hmm. You can hear me, Marjean. That's weird. Sounds okay. Sounds fine. Sounds fine for you. Okay, Mary, um, can someone type to Mary, please, while I keep playing, that maybe she needs to, I think it might be her device and not me because that's bizarre. I can use the um, stamp and cut emboss machine two ways. But I never do for some reason. I always crank it through left to right. I don't often go right to left. I'm bizarre. I will sit down in a sec when I've done this. Because I was running around all morning, my uh, legs went, enough, I've had enough. Got sound back, you're fine. Perfect, Mary. Good to know. Okay, so when we're finished with this, we just pop the sides up and it is ready to pop on its little 
set of drawers over there where it lips. Okay, so card back in the corner. So these are our two embossed sheets done. And oh my God, look at that texture. It's like nice. It's called painted texture, but it could also be plastered texture. It does have like paint strokes in it, but it's like nice thick oil paint. For anyone in Australia, this embossing folder reminds me of um, dough. Okay, I'm missing comments. What's where, Mary? Ellen asks you, Mary, maybe your device. Oh, okay, cool. You have sound, Bev. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So anyone in Australia, um, he does a show. I don't know if you girls elsewhere in the world can access it. It's called Brushed with Fame, and he is a comedian, an author, and now and he's an artist as well. And he literally interviews these people who some of them as celebrity, not celebrity, but actors or um, people on TV. He's done um, activists. He's done scientists, athletes, all different types of people, but people that have a public profile. So I won't say celebrities. And while he interviews them, he paints them. But he doesn't often paint with a brush. He will use um, like spatulas. It's like, yeah, I do have one. Like he'll use palette knives to paint with and he's got this massive bench that he covers with like um packing tape and squeezes it out and mixes all the paint oh it's amazing to watch and then he gifts them the painting at the end it's such a good show sorry i digress you've seen that cindy did you is it just an australian show so were you seeing an australian version or was it to have other or do other countries do the same thing it reminds me of paper piecing with torn paper yes delinda it does doesn't it okay so these are really really simple to assemble now we just stick them together and i've got card bases i've got to deal with as well oh how fun could this be I'm just, I'm just thinking. Oh no, it doesn't work because the gradients are wrong. That's okay. I was going to think about if the gradients were the other way around. I was thinking we could do that because that would work really well. But the gradients aren't the same because these are left to right gradients rather than top to bottom gradients i was going to say up and down but i thought an american artist oh well cindy so i wonder whether our abc which is our um our government broadcaster in australia um whether they like took like bought the license for the television show like, because we have, like, Australian Ninja Warrior, so obviously we had to buy that licence from the Japanese uh, broadcaster that does um, Sasuke, Sasuke, Siskane, Sasuke, um, which is where American Ninja Warrior comes from. Yes, I'm an American Ninja Warrior fan. Love it! Very excited that all the ninjas are getting there. Oh, this one I've done matchy-matchy. But it actually still works. So it doesn't matter how you line up the gradients. It all works. But, yes, all the ninjas are getting their calls for the next season, which is... It does still look okay, Lorraine, with the reverse gradients. It does. So I've just given you options. But, you know, I'm just going with what I'm liking and what I'm doing. And then this is uh, four extra thank you cards to 
add to my stash. So you could, if you wanted to, add embellishments to this. But I just love the simplicity of the stamping. I love the, um, and really, look how beautiful that is. You can mix any of these colours together. Um, you could add embellishments. I love the shadow stamping. I haven't used black. I have used the basic grey. Um, but I like the shadow stamping and I love the ombre. So I just thought it was a simple look. I'm not as in love with the dotted background as I am with the plain ombre but it still works i just think it's um it's it's really busy but it's a made card and i think jamie you're right this does need and because i've left it the perfect amount of time these two need a mat i put them together where these ones I think the texture is enough of a shadow. I did not mount that straight at all, but that's fine. Is enough of a shadow, and but I think I need a grey mat. Thank you for suggesting that earlier, Jamie. See, I do listen to you sometimes. Sometimes. I won't admit to listening to you all the time. Let's we'll see if that piece will work. It is, but it's also very simple. It does. You are exactly right, Delinda. It does give a unique depth. So I'm, oh, that's perfect. I love using my scraps. Love it, love it. More glue. Take two. One. See, love my dots. It's quite, I'm getting quite warm here in the study because my cleaner was still here while I was starting the video because I had to wait for him to mop the floor in here before I started and for him to finish vacuuming. Because if Ellen did all that in one go, Ellen's a write-off. I think this piece will be too skinny. But, yeah, way too skinny. Okay. So they're all my small scraps. Then I have all my full-size pieces. And then I have, well, that's a card base. So... Because I've exhausted all my pieces, this is the point that I grab out a full new piece. So there's a little look into my creative process. Just in case anyone was wondering. Bye, Jamie. Sorry I missed you going, Jamie. Hello, Miss Linda. Thank you for joining. Okay, and David is talking to Louisa, who will never talk back to him, but he insists on talking to her. I mean, so do I, but he just does it weirdly and randomly. Okay, so just going to, I could have measured all this out, but today that ain't happening. So I'm going to leave this piece here. It's time. Oh. Look, I thought we were going to cruise through these today, but, you know, comedy. Oh, comedy of errors and all. We are cruising through them, but these things happen, don't they? Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball this that's not too bad for eyeballing you think 
like I'd done this before. Now, I like that better. Do you see what I mean now? And I'll show you, oh, I can't because, but you saw before how it sort of got lost and now it's just got that little bit of gray that just pops it. It's just that beautiful amount of pop. Uh, let's just go for it, Ellen. Just go for it. That one is pretty good as well. Did I put that on crooked or did I cut crooked? No, it'll be crooked. That's fine. Okay. And then, so I put big scraps that are larger than a card front in the front. And then I put things that are smaller than, or should I say smaller than a card base in the back. And that's just my system for how I keep them. These are Avery uh, job ticket holders for anyone who will ask. Avery job ticket um, holders. I know a tiny touch of the colour just lifts this card perfectly okay let's get these two stuck and then oh i'm going to need that trimmer in just a titch but that's okay so these will be the last celebration cards you will see this is my last video before celebration ends as well um tomorrow i'll be doing family things and prepping for my team meeting on Sunday. Sunday I, is the last day of celebration and I will be having a lot of my team here and the rest of them will hopefully join me on Zoom and um, we'll make some of those butterfly bouquet projects which are yet to be made but there's plenty of time between now and sunday lunchtime okay that will do so that's our four card fronts and i think I am missing one, which I haven't put together, but while I'm here, and I think I'm going to put this one together without the embossing to show you that. So I want that at the bottom. Do I? Oh, I've done this one upside down, Miss Jane. So I'm going to show you this one as well. Isn't it weird? With the dots, I really felt like I needed that uh, grey mat but with this one it doesn't need it because you haven't got that extra pattern. Oh you use those holders too Rose. Thank you Mrs Jennifer Maguire. That's where I got the idea. And they sit perfectly on the shelf directly above. I don't even need to move. I sometimes need to roll but I don't need to stand up to grab them, which for me is really good. And then I have my Jamie custom plastic holders for my dies. So we have five card bases here, or five card fronts. So we need five card bases. So let's get moving on five card bases let's see how many I've got here uh, two three and that's two more and those other two I'll put up with my thick cardstock 
So then they are there for future Ellen to say thank you so much for looking after me. Because I do say that kind of thing quite regularly to myself. I went to um, quickly make the thumbnail for the YouTube video and I went, oh, I've already made the thumbnail. Thank you very much, Ellen. Do need to give myself some praise and thank yous when I've already thought ahead and batched on some things for myself. So I just use the corner of my trimmer to square up our card bases. It doesn't help if you haven't cut the card base square to start off with. It may be a titch off. But at least your ends and one corner will be nice and straight. Okay. And I, this makes it so much easier for my hands as well because we do have this lip here. Okay. Oh, bye, Kathy. I'm so sorry I missed you leaving. Sorry, Kathy. I hope to see you on replay. But you've seen majority of the card. We're really just on the home stretch now. So what is everyone's plans for the weekend? You've heard what my plans are. What are your plans? Are you getting crafty or are you seeing family? Or are you just having that chill out weekend in front of Netflix or whatever? Maybe a DVD box set. Okay, five card bases. That's away, bone folder away. And spines that way. And I'm going to do my trick because these are full card fronts. I can put my glue directly on the card. And then I just kind of place, kind of drop this on. It's not very often I cover a full card base but for these I thought it worked because the ombre didn't necessarily go to a full white so I thought it worked well crafting birthday cards oh oh yes Marjean you've got your stamp camp I did see the beautiful gifts you got for that they were lovely I like the personalized touch I've got to think about what I am making for my team for um, our next demonstrator event, which is in April, which actually isn't that far away. It is a smaller event. It's a three-hour event, but I still like to do a little something because last year's event um, – was just it was totally different online event and it was everyone over the course of the weekend it was uh, more on facebook because it was such a last minute um it was such a last minute cancellation of our events for april last year okay so these are lining up perfectly. It is to be in 50s here, so I'm going, yay, going outside, Linda. That sounds lovely. We actually have what I could very closely call a summer's day because we haven't had such a warm summer. And if it wasn't cleaning day and I wasn't doing towels, um, I could have done, oh no, I could have done three or four loads of washing. Okay, this one I did not cut correctly. So I've just given it a line at the top and a line at the bottom. But that works well because these 
circles are actually white. So I've just gone with it. I may have done the same thing for the next card as well, but this works. And did I? Yes, I did, because I cut them together. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is so lovely, Sandra, that you get to see him for his birthday. I hope you have a lovely time. Great. Yeah, so I'll get crafty time. I'll get time with my team. I'll get time with my family. And I think my husband, because it's my turn to cook when I see my parents on Sunday. My husband has requested that we get fish and chips, like takeaway fish and chips. And I went, sure, I have no issues with that at all. Oh, I should have bought a salad today. Damn. That's okay. I'll send a child into the shops to grab. No, I don't have enough for salad in the fridge either because the kids like to take salad to school. So I more often get that like at the beginning of the week. My pleasure. Yes, so let's have a look. We made a couple of versions of the cards. So these two are the same, but I'll show you the one without the weird corner. So that one is our dots with our mat. This one is our plain Blackberry Bliss without the embossed background. This is it with the embossed background. So we've got six cards here. No, seven, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, no, two, four, five. We've got six cards here, girls. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. We Look, we made cards together. It's Friday. It's Friday. And uh, then we have our Rococo Rose version with, um, with the embossed background. So I am going to pop all these bunches of cards to the corner, grab out the products that we used. So three... Three out of the four products you can only earn until Sunday. Okay, so Sunday at midnight. So our corner bouquet stamp set, our heal your heart stamp set, and our Oso ombre paper are only available until Sunday. Our butterfly wishes stamp set is in the current annual catalogue and we have our painted textures embossing folder which is in the January to June mini catalogue. So we've used five items, six if you include the ink, so not very many um, supplies for a simple card. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you, thank you. Now, I do believe I will be back on Tuesday to play with you. Uh, I wonder what Tuesday's date is. Hmm. I wonder if it will tell me in here. Hmm. I wonder. Let me have a look. Will it show me Tuesday's date? Look at all the things I have on Monday. Tuesday is the second. So I do wonder, I've got another card from class or we can do another butterfly card. So it'll be one of those options next Tuesday. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. But yes, I'll be back on Tuesday and we'll be playing with either dragonflies or butterflies. So there are your clues, dragonflies or butterflies. 
So have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to either redeem your celebration products. Join my team and you can join the fun on Sunday for our team meeting um, and see all the beautiful swaps we've made. I'll also be back next week sharing our team swaps with you. So have an amazing one.